this tutorial, I'm going to help you guys out fix this issue where you're trying to download an application on the App Store and it says that the Apple ID has not been used in the iTunes Store. So from here, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and click Cancel, go to your home screen, and then go swipe to the left so you could get this search here on the top and search for iTunes and you're going to open the iTunes Store. Once the iTunes store loads, you want to go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom until you see the sign in option here if you are not signing and sign in with your existing Apple ID. All right, once you sign in from here, you want to go ahead and click review. All right, from here, you're going to select your country and then agree to the terms and then click next. All right, to complete and fix this problem completely, you need to add a payment method. Without this payment method, you won't be able to get rid of this message. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add PayPal. And I'm going to log into PayPal. All right, I'm going to agree to continue. All right, now that I added the payment type, I'm going to go ahead and click next. And make sure you put in everything in the form. So you're going to have to include your phone number. And click next when you're done. And Apple won't charge you once you added the payment method. This is just for them to have it on file and for you to be able to download any application, even if it's free. So Apple is actually making you to add a payment. So once you added your payment, whether it be PayPal or your credit card, go ahead and click continue. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the App Store again. And I'm going to try to download the same application I tried to download earlier. All right, now it's asking me to install it, so I'm going to go ahead and click install. Put in my password. And I was able to download the application. So that's how you fix that error with your Apple ID. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave your comment below and please subscribe to my channel.